Lover here with uh, Applejack and as you can see I'm going to react to the MLP connoisseur <laughs> connoisseur <laughs> oh my god um, I don't know a lot about him besides he was recommended uh, to me by second opinion and I have seen the fame and fortune episode with second also so this is uh, me reacting to the connoisseur to see what he's all about um, as you can see he's under 1000 subscribers so the subscription and the liking and everything is up for grabs i will leave a link to the original video down below and uh, here we go yeah before everything else goes wrong try to in here we go hello everyone i'm oh. the connoisseur and welcome to my review on the 14th episode of the seventh season of my little pony friendship is magic also known as fame and misfortune yeah. i just want to say i'm glad that i've been using a new way of doing reviews and that you know using my phone for the video and my snowball microphone Ooh. for the audio i also um, have snowball <laughs> that you know it allows me to have at least a better quality review you know yeah it uh, will lag a little bit let's wait i'm not so okay. fancy with the background i'm sorry but anyway yeah. on to the um review this episode was a mixed bag for me because I had relatively high expectations, yet I did not really get what I sought. And okay. it, it really had a sour taste in my mouth at the end. It had a very good moral, very good animation with the faces, a very, very good song. Yeah. Very unexpected one, too, because there was no introduction with music. It was just there. Mm. And I loved it, but it had a very poor, quick ending that literally just ignored resolving the problem. Well, now, yeah. I'll go back to the beginning of the episode, the which involves two be characters there, but... um, whose names I'm trying to remember. I believe it's um, Tula Rula and, and Coconut Cream or something like that. Yeah, Basically, I don't these remember two little filly called. ponies who were friends were fighting. While it helps them out a little bit, but you see that they're still fighting throughout the episode, and I'm glad that I'm glad that it's not the kind of case where oh, you know, Twilight helps them and they're on their way. They they come back and they're a big part of the ending. Yeah, we see that Twilight says something Sorry. that even I remembered was from a previous episode, and she goes into her castle and finds the journal that that all of the main six were writing in, and yeah. and he hears road block number one okay the book was very old looking and they even obviously you know said that it looks very old and you can see it i don't understand why because you know first off it should be kept in a better place than behind a lot of books and secondly you know the main six and starlight have been learning lessons still so why aren't they adding you know their own little um you know indentations into the book why has starlight not written anything in it because you know obviously I she's been know. more <laughs> focused now you know it, it's a little upsetting to see it's that it's not you know, for all me old. but i like that mind. they're bringing it back <laughs> i like that twilight even has the idea of ma making, making new copies, copies for the main yes. six that are all brand new like and it's that nice too. that they have a spell for that but, you know but it's just a little saddening basically twilight has the idea of promoting the book and basically sharing it to everybody in Equestria so that they can, you know, read the friendship lessons, learn the lessons, and have a good refresher in their in their head about, you know, whatever they're going through in life, if they have any problems. And obviously in the episode, the you know, hence the title Fame and Misfortune, yeah. a lot of the, the ponies in Equestria treat this as a celebrity kind of a thing, and they make the main six, you know... Now, now all of a sudden they're all well known once again as if they weren't before because they've saved the question so many times. Mm. But we have ponies that well are, known now. you know, um, piling on top of Fluttershy and laughing at Pinkie Pie for every little thing over the top. We have mm. ponies that are, you know, um, even criticizing Rarity and loving Rainbow Dash and, you know, hounding Applejack. And the fame basically, it's not like the fame getting to the main six's head. It's the no, fame. Yeah. It, it's the 
the illusion of fame getting to yeah. all of the citizens of Equestria's head. I do have a problem with the fact that, that you know, other than the ending of the episode where the two fillies who are now friends because of the book are the only ones that we see that really really had a positive impact because of the book i don't understand why so many it seemed like 99 percent of equestria when they saw the book you know read it the wrong way are you are you telling me that in that crowd of ponies around twilight in the main six near the castle at the end of the episode you're telling me not one of them you know, uh, oh, wait, had a positive the impact of that book. Well, they were all maybe a mixture. Like, they were, were such big shots. Which, yeah, they are. They're well-known. They're they're famous. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it, it was a little saddening. And it, it's so it's sort Why? of... That, that was sort of adding to the sour taste in my mouth. Oh, you know, okay. a lot of the scenes were pretty uh, comedic in the sense that, you know, we saw the main six do things that you know involve these critics yeah i liked fluttershy standing up for herself and fluttershy even says towards the end how she doesn't want to have to defend herself every second and that she's going to explode if she keeps doing it and that's relatable you know fluttershy has improved a lot and fluttershy stood up genuinely um the first time in this episode but you know you can't always be like like that, you know, she stepped too, up too much of anything is too much of anything. But never mind. The scene with Rarity going freaking cuckoo was, <laughs> you know, really entertaining in the sense that, you know, the animators had fun with it. You could tell yeah. with their and faces. And also for her, they had you a know, moon face with fame Twilight should be with, something with, that um, she wanted, but not like Rarity that. Or, I think, no, Applejack so, yeah. is slamming the door in Twilight. Yeah, you she know, looks so much had some like good faces, me in this. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Reaching the end of the episode, we see that Twilight is really, really trying to push hard on the fact that the book is meant to not not allow the citizens of Equestria to see the inside of their lives and witness and read all these events that have happened that they don't know of and see the flaws that they yeah. learn. But it's not always easy they, to see flaws in something you think that is perfect. These flaws made them who they were to begin with. And that, yes, they've overcome a lot of these, and new ones will arise, and some yes. will stick with them, and will be hard to, you know, learn from. Yes. And here we go into the song. Yeah, the song Twilight is great. was pretty much the center of the song for the first half, and it turned into the main six um, singing. Now, you know, Starlight could have been a part of it, but I know this was a main six kind of a, yeah, a yeah. moment. It's to show that, you know, hey... The original six are still there. They're still, and you know, the closest to friends. The, Starlight the Starlight is still flaws there. Once more. You know, Starlight is still I think that is almost just as close. Over but, redundant. You no, know, so. she she's, she hasn't been known as long. Yeah. I loved Twilight singing in the beginning. There yeah. was a part in the song, and you know, I'm not trying to criticize so much. I don't I don't usually criticize a song, but there was a part where Twilight was singing, and it did not sound like her voice. It just sounded off. I like okay. the whole um, idea that, but of the, probably of pairing up the ponies, you know, and I'm interacting into the background and then jumping out singing, into the foreground, you know, passing the care, black line just it in good. an animation kind of um, perspective. I like that. Yeah. And, and you know, the episode just ends with them hugging um, yeah. after you know basically walking away from the crowd that was still not getting the message. They yeah. walked inside. Um, the, the the two fillies that that were ex friends are now friends again. That made yeah, the main six cute. happy because they felt that their book, you know, helped you know even just a pair. Mm. And you know they all hugged it out. It was a sweet moment. And then Applejack says something along the lines of, "We're gonna have to deal with those with those guys, right?" Yeah. And outside. Twilight just says, "Let's just enjoy the hug for a bit." Yeah. Fade to black. Let them have their moment. <sighs> The review is getting a little long, but to say it quickly, I didn't like that. Be- Why? Because the next episode has nothing to do with this one. No, of so course we're just, not. So we're just going to leave it off. You know, we, we don't know what happens. They're um, taking care now, of it. Now, for all we know, all the citizens of Equestria are, are, are just assuming that they're all big shots. They're going to still no! find Apple Jack or laugh at Pinkie Pie. Oh, come on. I don't know on. how they're going to resolve the situation. That, that song was a pretty empowering one, so yeah. I don't know what they would do to really, 
you know, convey the message that the that the, the book just the ignore journal, them maybe was supposed to just help show or that do flaws other make things you who to you help. are and you can learn from them and you can form bonds with them. This episode also had a lot of great references to the fandom we had a yes Granny pony that is saying, the meaning oh, of this episode like Twilight better before she had wings which is yeah. an obvious reference to emma larson making uh, oh, making the episode the of twilight becoming a princess and what <laughs> not and just you know that that whole that whole thing um there was a lot of references to just you know the fandom critics yeah, reviewers yeah. analysis which is me in a sense i i like to consider myself a reviewer not really much of an analysis but an analyst oh my god anyway I'm getting a little um, riled up. So yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Thoughts <laughs> below. Um, welcome back to the review. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. If you like these reviews, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and like okay. and do whatever you like. I um, uh, just I'm glad to be back. Lifeguarding is almost over. Welcome and back. I'll I did not know you were away, more. but yeah. I'm going to do more. Probably going videos. to see more. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Uh, okay, I will end it here and I just like, I will say that I don't agree with him with the last part because it's uh, meant to uh, be an opening ending. It's not always that you can um, take care of your problems like right now and stuff like that. I actually think it was pretty clever with the, with the stuff. Um, that they do here because like Apple Jack is saying we have to take care of the problem afterwards and it's not something we uh, want to take all of the time with you from you with these small or this uh, problems and they all have their different um, ways they can actually do it um, I believe that Apple Jack have to um, I'll not say get rid of her new family but she has to um, be more sure that well they're not the, her real family and have to maybe talk with them one-on-one -on -one and be like well I'm sorry but you know if if you're not an apple uh, I can not take care of all of you guys and stuff like that and it's just too much for me and I think that they will understand the different um, ponies agenda and also Fluttershy I do believe that she um, came a long way and she has defended herself before but this time it was really um, you know where we wanted her to go and the um, thing with Rarity I actually found, found that very funny <laughs> I know that uh, you guys actually don't like this um, but she is the one that I actually thought was going to thrive on the uh, fame. But uh, the more fame that she got with, um, you know, bad fame or how to say that, it was not something that was healthy for her. And I do understand uh, how they can point that out and be like, well, some fame is not good for you. For example, if uh, people are talking behind your back, if they're trying to get into your uh, family life uh, take everything that has something to do with you and um, you know uh, laughing off everything that you're doing even though that you don't find it funny it was even enough for Pinkie Pie to be like uh, I think this is enough uh, I don't know how Pinkie Pie will manage with her um, stuff but I do believe that they're they're um they have earned that silent moment they have been through so much with the you know ponies and everything saving equestria doing all of this stuff so they have earned like this quiet moment uh in the end uh something i was actually wondering about was that uh, starlight says that she's going to do something in the end um but actually doesn't come back or how to say that so i don't know what happened but uh it was twilight and the others singing a song instead i was actually thinking uh, that uh, starlight would have come back with some sort of uh, spell or something uh, weird to actually help them um 
I re- I do believe that the reason why the book is looking old and um, tethered or how to say that beaten up is because that is how the writers are feeling right now. And uh, this is an episode dedicated to us bronies. I do believe that it's uh, dedicated to the critics. It's dedicated to um, us that is watching the show. And it's also dedicated to the fans that have been like there from the start or how to say that. And that is why I feel like the book was uh, up in somewhere behind stuff and looking old and pages were falling out of it because they had like enough of all of this uh, with all of these uh, questions like uh, f- why do Fluttershy learn the same thing over and over and again and nothing is good enough uh, for us uh, like there's always something you can uh, criticize but I have actually made a video that is the difference between cri- criticism and bashing stuff and I do really feel like what the connoisseur is doing and sorry I <laughs> just subscribed and built and liked this um, the connoisseur is doing what I like he's criticizing but he's not doing it like to bash the um, episode but they have so many fans that are like um taking it way out of proportion seeing all of the itty bitty small details and you know going up in a tangent when people when things are not going wrong uh, or going as they want it in their head because with the scene with Fluttershy for example and I know I'm going on a tangent here but the Fluttershy was defending herself but even after she defend herself the critic pony was like, I, I'm not sure, I like that. How am I supposed, or how is the writer supposed to uh, please you then, if you are not, you know, satisfied with that? I, I don't get that. I uh, am just going to watch the episode and enjoy everything. I actually feel like this was a very great episode. I love the song with um, having flaws and learning from your flaws and the... Uh, you know stuff like that it was actually pretty good uh, yeah i will stop it here it's a okay picture um i will say that i do agree with some of the things in the start that he said about but the end i really do feel like they have deserved some time and they have deserved you know praising uh, of the show and um all of this i don't know if that was their intention but that is actually what i get out of the watching the the episode or the moral of the story or how to say that and i really like the um, thing in the start where they find the old book and they make copies of it and they um you know each of them get a copy of the book maybe that would have been enough but i also feel like it was a good idea for twilight to actually give the book out she's just trying to um let her lessons be known or how to say that uh, i do believe that uh, starlight could also have been more into this episode or how to say that because even though it's a main six episode i also feel like she have learned more than enough to actually have her own chapter in the book um, even though that she have not been there for that long and I'm sorry that this is uh, very long but I just wanted to to tell you guys how I felt about the episode and how I um, uh, you know the opposite of his ending or how to say that because I don't feel like we all need um, it's every time we want answers like and i feel like the way that this episode was ending was also a way to say like for example the thing with applejack's parents we know that they're dead so like the show doesn't have to go back and be like forcing it and i also feel like this ending is also like a way to say to you guys that like this is enough Uh, we're going to take care of um, the brony fandom or how to say that afterwards Uh, for right now we're just going to have you know hog and a 
a great time and there will be uh, better episodes into the future or how to say that but I really like this episode okay then now I'm done and I really like his um, OC I think it's cute I will uh, see if I can find anything about his uh, cutie mark and stuff like that uh, I don't know did I google plus this and tweet it probably not I'm going to google plus and tweet this I think it was good but as I said I did not agree with him with the ending being bad and the, the other stuff being bad but that's just the way I am like maybe I'm not the good at this uh, with being a reviewer and being you know taking stuff afterwards because I just want to enjoy my stuff and then afterwards look at the stuff like or else I could have been like I don't like this because of the background here I think it's uh, terrible and uh, stuff like that but yeah I'm not going to be like that because I know that I'm just going to see this and enjoy this and I'm sorry if I had any lag I'm of course going to leave a link to the original channel down below but that was actually all for today. Uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and loved ones. And that is actually all. Yeah, okay, bye.